Alright, what's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. In today's video, we are going to be taking a deep dive over a tool called FeedBear, where you can collect and manage customer feedback. Let's get right into it. Alright, so here is FeedBear. It is, uh, you know, like I said, it's a tool to manage feedback, create roadmaps, change logs, etc, etc. Et so if you're running a software company or a me even a service based company or really anything, this could be a good tool for you. And even if you don't choose a, this tool FeedBear, you could choose something else potentially. And uh, I think it is a really good idea to have a tool like this um, because it you know increases customer satisfaction and support and automates a lot of that for you so you can see here at the bottom of the website there's different comparisons so a comparative to canny uh, alternative upvote aha ideas user voice trello product board um, i don't know exactly what canny i think it's canny.io what their pricing is user segments this is a very popular one a lot of people use okay so as you can see it's very expensive actually i didn't know how expensive this was so it's actually 400 bucks per month other than the free version it is cool though i see it integrates with some cool ones here click up i use click up uh g suite all these good things i actually haven't used canny before but I know a lot of different owners and stuff that do use this. SaaS owners use it a lot, whatever. So it has a cool interface and whatever, but uh, it is very pricey. So far, uh, I, I mean, I haven't done an in-depth research of every single tool in this uh, in this space, but FeedBear is at least, like I got it, it's one of my favorites just because it's, uh, like if I check out the pricing here, it's a lot more affordable pricing. You have 29 bucks per month, 99 bucks per month, uh, 200 bucks per month. And I think this is per project, I believe. So it's not super cheap, um, but it is a little bit more affordable than this. And I'm just seeing too expensive. So yeah, you can get started for free. Is this on a per project basis? Um... Uh, think it is but i can't say for sure per month additional admin five owners included uh boards unlimited end users unlimited so i can't say for sure email white labeling you don't have that with this remove branding so it still says powered with canny so that's there's a few downsides with that you can't i don't think you can fully white label um you know with the branding and stuff here you can actually remove the branding right here um uh, you get custom css custom branding custom domain custom statuses roadmap unlimited boards automatic email follow-ups three team members unlimited users website widget social login business is 99 bucks per month per project you get 10 team members single sign in uh, private projects, everything in startup. Professional for 200 bucks per project. You get 20 team members, Jira integration, priority support, and remove power by FeedBear. All right, and yeah, and then there's their corporate plan. But anyways, uh, you know, I don't want to make this video too long. I kind of just want to give you guys the, you know, show you guys what's actually inside under the hood of this tool. Um, and here are some cool integrations: Intercom, Slack. Trello, Jira, Zapier, um, and Fle Webhook. So not as many integrations as Canny, but I hope they'll build some of these out, like maybe uh, ClickUp and a few other others would be nice. But um, let's log in here. So here is mine. You know, I just uh, haven't really, like I literally just got this not too long ago, so I haven't really set it up yet. I have uh, added the white label feature, which is pretty cool. I'm very pleased about that. You can't see it right now, but it is actually white labeled as well in the URL. So that is very useful. Um, you can see here new ideas. You can change the author. So add your team, like whatever 
the person from the team is in here i haven't added any team members yet i literally just got this haven't really set it up yet but title so if i had a new idea i could add a title here um like uh um what's a good uh, idea i don't know like more um let's see plug and play funnel done for you okay description we will provide you with plug and play funnels okay you could add an image here i'm not going to and i could just click add idea boom you can see the idea here it's in the future feature request see the stuff here you can see a discussion so people the users your team can comment or like the actual end users like your clients or people interested can comment down here what they think add any ideas or comments and add images if they want you can change the status so right now it's not set you can change it to not now done in progress planned need your opinion you can actually edit these statuses as well as edit the colors here right you can change the code the hex code you can add statuses delete statuses actions so i could click edit and uh you know update things uh, move to another board so i'll show you that in a second you can create different boards and i can move it to another board if i wanted to right uh, merge into another idea so you could do that click here search for ideas if you wanted to you could delete this idea tags so tags are visible only to project admins so i gotta add a tag here if i wanted i'm not going to voters so you can see me and you could see if other people voted upvoted this basically saying hey i really like this idea or this feature and people wanted to vote there they could just click here and upvote it just like any other kind of feedback tool you can create new boards by going here you could add a uh a board name you can add the url the page heading the description intro heading intro text form title you know form title placeholder form body all this type of stuff you can update it which is pretty cool um actually let me just go back there real quick so vote voting settings so hide vote count of votes number of votes or ideas will not be displayed till users hide ideas uh, with not set status from users so only admins will be able to see and filter ideas marked with the not set status default status for new ideas right you can change that form footer text uh form body yeah so all that stuff i already talked about so there's that you could export ideas so i could export specific ones or i think this would be all our ideas i think i don't know um oh no this would just if you click this it would show your ideas only not your team members um so new board yeah so there we go oh no that's import so import and export ideas so that's pretty useful so i can switch up here from different boards so as you can see i'm in the feature request board but i could create different boards and i believe i can make boards like private um i'll have to check on that later but yeah this is where you would see all the different boards here's your roadmap so you can actually edit this roadmap edit the statuses which reflect so these ideas are reflected in the roadmap right obviously the new one i created i didn't add a status to it yet but if i added a status saying for example in progress save now if i go to roadmap we'll see that this is in progress and people can upvote here you can edit the roadmap so you can edit uh you know see as you can see done and not done are not visible but i could make them visible if i wanted to or i could make other stuff invisible you can add new ideas here as well so you don't actually have to go to the board and add them you can add them from the roadmap so that's pretty easy and simple and then change logs so this is pretty cool this is where you can add different changes so like you know updated the blah 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 
write some news. You can up, add that. You can format it. You know, bold, italicized, strike through, add a link. Um, you know, make it bigger or smaller text. Make it block quote. Uh, you can add code. Blah blah blah. Um, what else? You can do bullet numbered lists indents and you can also add attachments so you can attach files so then you can actually post it either now or you can do a scheduled post with time and date you can undo and redo here and you can also save as draft and then you can add labels new improved or fixed and you can ask also add extra ape labels there if you'd like and if i go here edit i can change the color of these labels as well so it's very customizable. I really like the white label aspect of it and the customization. Um, there's no, like if I scroll down to the bottom, there's no made with feed bear or anything like that. It's pretty much fully white labeled. Um, and uh, send feedback, feed bear roadmap, project settings, my account. I'm not gonna get into that. But if I go to the feed bear roadmap, so you can see here some of the different stuff they're working on. So it is a project and app that is adding a lot more stuff like allow discord login, drift integration. This is all planned intercom slack, GitHub integration, comment wraps on the characters rather than the word. Yeah, that's, imp oh, that's interesting. Um, discord integration. So yeah, so I could come here as you can see this board is made on their own tool feedback and I could upvote you know this or whatever the case may be right so that is pretty much it it's a very you know it's a very simple tool but it is a very functional tool and I really do like it now I'll leave a link in the description below so you can grab this tool um, if you want right it's not something you necessarily may need some some of you may not need this tool right now or maybe some of you do I'm just letting you guys know different tools that I'm using that I like and whatever the case may be. Can I, uh, pay manually? Do you have a roadmap? Um, you have to pay for anything extra. So yeah, it's pretty much, that's pretty much it guys. There's really not, you know, there's multi-language public or private, like I said, so you can, uh, lock down your project by domain or email to use it internally. Uh, email notifications, tags, idea voting, roadmap, custom domains, custom branding, change log integration, sign, single sign on, private ideas, feedback widget, no user accounts, anonymous votes, vote on behalf of users, custom statuses, custom roadmap, merge ideas, version history, user profiles, mentions, discussions, export voters, social logins, custom CSS, pin comments, team, WordPress. Oh, I don't even know they have a WordPress plugin, so I'm gonna have to download that. Uh, custom email sender, custom CSS, embeds, export your data, webhooks, import ideas, custom homepage, headings, filter sort. And that's pretty much it, guys. So link will be in the description below for that. That's pretty cool. Uh, they were on AppSumo previously earlier. Hope Maybe they'll make a comeback. If they do, I'll let you guys know. But right now, they're not. Um, I did get them when I was on AppSumo, just so you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, they were on AppSumo, um, but it is still a good tool. It really depends. It's such a good tool. That's why even though they're off AppSumo, I just want to kind of let you guys know about it. I don't, I don't even think they have like, uh, an affiliate program or anything like that, at least at the moment. So I'm, I'll just leave like a link in there. You can check it out if you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Let me know your comments down below. If you've used this tool, if you have any questions about it, um, whatever the case may be. And also to let me know your comments on our thoughts on this video. If you're new to this channel, we upload videos every single day on different tools, different topics on how to grow your business, how to scale. If you're a coach, consultant, marketing agency, B2B service-based business, anything really online, this channel is great for you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see, uh, stay up to date with daily uploads and daily deals on softwares or anything like that, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Um, also too, guys, uh, we have a few free resources. I'll leave in the description below as well. One is our stride community. So if you're new to this channel and haven't yet joined our stride community, go to stridecommunity.com and opt in. It's hundred percent free. You'll get a free invite and instant access to our Facebook group and discord channel, telegram, WhatsApp, all that good stuff where there's behind the scenes, resources, trainings, and tools that aren't on this YouTube channel. So you can get that there. Also too, lastly is the accelerate your stride challenge. 
This will be coming out very soon, guys. It's the six day accelerate your stride challenge. It's 100% free. Um, very, very valuable stuff in here. So you can check that out. The, the page explains a lot of bit of, uh, about it. But, um, you know, if you don't want to go through this whole thing it, it's, and read it, um, all you have to do is just go here, literally just click this button, opt in, add your details, first name, email, phone number, and then press this button. And then once the accelerate your stride challenge drops, You'll get an email and text notification letting you know uh your you know how to access it and everything and it's 100 percent free there's no selling or no no nothing for sale um for that specific thing it's free so you can get it there um and then yeah i haven't fully decided if i'm going to limit access in the future so if you want to secure a spot on the wait list make sure to do that asap it's literally a no-brainer if you're serious about growing your business you're definitely going to join the wait list anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in tomorrow's video make sure to keep hustling keep grinding and of course accelerate your stride guys all the links will be in the description make sure to take action and have a great day talk soon